Hi, how are you, dear friend? My name is Yomi Kasali, and you know the question I'm going to ask you during my faith capsule series. The same question I've been asking is, how is your faith? <laughs> How's your faith? That the way we used to ask it back in the days, and then today I'm still asking you today, how's your faith? For faith can be strong and faith can be weak. And so when I ask that question, I'm simply asking you, how are you doing spiritually? How are you doing in faith? I'm not how's life. I'm saying, how is your faith? And I told you that this particular question that the Lord laid on my heart, a burden to teach faith a couple of weeks ago. Because God told me the faith of many has been weakened by the COVID attack. And we've got to agree with ourselves that since COVID, things have changed. The way we do things have changed. The entire globe, the entire world has changed, including our faith. The way we walk with God, the way we relate with God has also changed. In fact, many people have returned to church since COVID. And so we must not deny the fact that faith life has been weakened and dealt a severe blow by COVID. That's why we're trying to revive our faith through this faith capsule series so that you all can have strong faith and walk by faith. Today's faith capsule shall be found from Hebrews chapter 4 verse 2. Don't forget it profound scripture. It says, unto us, unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word, the word preached, and this is what pastors and preachers go through every week and every year. The word preached did not profit them while not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. In them that heard it. You see, this is a preacher's dilemma. Preachers do great work, anointed work, and then you find that a few people in church get blessed. Others don't get blessed. And some people leave your church and it's all oh, no, that church got no power. Oh, my church pastor got a problem. Oh, God has left them. That's not true. It says that the problem is not for the preacher preaching the word. Most times, sometimes could be the preacher. The problem is for the hearer not mixing the word with faith. <laughs> Can you imagine? So even if you preach a great word, if you don't mix it with faith, it will profit you. Look at even our Lord and our Savior Jesus, the Word personified Himself, couldn't do so much miracles in His own old town. Why? They just didn't believe in Him. The Bible says because of their unbelief. Do you want to tell me it was a preacher's problem? No, it was the people's problem. It wasn't the preacher's problem. It wasn't at all. It was the people's problem. Our Lord and Savior, the Word personified himself, the Word working on planet Earth, in a particular place, couldn't help, couldn't do much, simply because the people refused to mix the Word with faith. There was a measure of faith in you. Your job is when you hear the Word, you mix it, you roll it around, and then the Word will profit you. Simple. Hear the word, mix it with faith, it will profit. That's how it works. That's how the word works wonders. If you want the word to work in your life, if you want scriptures to work wonders in your life, if you want God to show up in your life, you've got to do it by faith. Now repeat, the word preached did not profit them. And I pray that the word you're hearing today will profit you. In the name of Jesus, every word that is inspired by God has got dynamite to do great things in your life, in our lives. That's the nature of God's word. God says, I send my word, so I send it to fulfill a purpose, to fulfill a purpose. He said, the Lord sent for this word, the word healeth them and delivereth them. How? Not being mixed with faith. If you don't mix it with faith, it ain't going to work. You mix it with faith, it will profit. If you're going to make profit, mix the word with faith. Thank you very much for listening to this faith capsule. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 2. Don't forget it. Today, mix this word with faith. For without faith, nobody can please God. Thank you. I'll see you again. Have a good day.